Hi, it's Anne from the Useless Crafter. How are you? All right, we are starting our Christmas decoration um, week, maybe month. <laughs> so we're gonna do the Grinch today. If you followed along for the design space tutorial, it is one of the easier off the mat characters and it's gonna look amazing. So if you feel like you want to start one, this is the one to do. And it's so funny because after doing the princesses that are 48 inches and Jasmine at 60 inches, um, when I took this off the mat and kind of just pieced it together just to make sure I had all the right pieces and nothing needed to be recut, it was so easy that I thought, okay, I need to remind everybody that if you wanna start, this is where you should start. All right, so all the pieces are right here. The first thing that we wanna do is, as always, on any off the mat, I wanna get all the background pieces down, okay? Because we, we want to um, do that first. We, we're gonna tape together that portion and then everything else is gonna sit on top. So right now, I'm just getting all my black pieces from here and down and the Grinch was 33 inches and looks amazing. So without very many seams. So there, I think that's it. And then he has two feet. All right, here we go. So I don't think that you can see the whole thing, but I think you can see enough to understand what's going on. So give me one second to put down my board. Okay. So I know you can't see everything, but you'll be able to see enough that we're gonna piece this together. So this right here is right side up, right? So that means um, with our colored pieces, it's gonna sit on top. So for instance, his face is gonna sit on top like this. So once you have all your pieces, we wanna flip it over because we wanna tape it from the back side. So we're just gonna flip everything over. And the tools that you're going to need today um, is mostly tape, double-sided tape and regular tape. I like to use my glue, my Tombow um, permanent adhesive glue and then the glue dots where I can't, where it's easier just to stick one or two pieces down. <laughs> I just realized this one's empty. Um, but these are also glue dots here, so. Um, and I have double-sided tape. I'm using the 3M strips. These, I, um, I'm reviewing them right now. Um, it comes in this gigantic roll. So I will, so far I've liked it. I just don't like not having a dispenser. That's the only thing, but it's been working really well. Okay, so we're gonna tape this piece, um, two pieces at a time. So with your regular tape, we're just taping it down. So the way you wanna do it is just pick any two pieces and then you're going to lift one piece up so that you can really push it up against the other piece. And you wanna make sure this helps you get a really seamless look. And you see how it's, this is the line, but clearly when you're doing it this way, it's really pushed up against each other and it just gives you, like I said, a really seamless look. Um, this is also why I like building those flush squares because when you put this together, you have four corners that meet together here, right? And you have four corners that meet together here. It's just easier to put together, together your project when you build those squares and they're completely flushed. So I know sometimes people are like, people don't wanna do it, <laughs> but it's worth the effort and it's not hard once you understand how to use the position feature um, and just rounding to the nearest whole number, right? It's, it's like my favorite part. <laughs> All right, so these two pieces, I'm going to, again, grab it like that and tape it down. Now, what you're gonna wanna do is you wanna make sure that your tape doesn't exceed your black because you're gonna be able to see this clear tape over it, right? Um, the other thing that we're gonna to wanna to do at the end is really the only seams that you're going to see are at the edge. It's gonna be like this little, hold on, let me pick this up. It'll be this little piece right here because the green is gonna cover most of this, the green and the red, you know, all, the, all our colored pieces are gonna sit on top, but at the edge, it's just the outline. So we wanna make sure that at the outline, 
that we tape it down so that it doesn't move at all. And it is going to be sitting on a foam board. So you see how I did that and I didn't listen to my own words. The tape went over. So I just want to pick it up because you're going to be able to see it and then tape it down. So this little piece right here. All right. Let's continue taping this thing. Once you tape two pairs together or this pair, then you want to tape it to this pair. So um, same thing with this piece. You want to lift it up and kind of push against the other piece and tape down. And this one, I mean, he's gonna look so good. I used uh, green, red, and white glitter cardstock from Cricut, so you can always shop my links. Um, they're on my About page, or if you see it on Instagram, there's links there as well. All right, so these two I'm going to tape down here. Um, I will let you know when to buy. The best time to buy for Cricut is they have gone all the way up to 50% off, but I normally will just buy at 40% because I never know when the 50% is going to happen and my supplies might run out. But at 40%, it's still really good because then you still get, and um, recently they did the 40% and then I'm also an access member. So you got 20 per, an additional 20% off and then you get free shipping at $50. So the paper ends up being really cheap because normally it's $10 for 12 sheets maybe, I can't remember. And then um, I got it for $6 and then another 20% off. And then I want to say the ship code that I used gave me another 10% off as well. So don't just buy when you need it though. You gotta wait for the, you gotta wait for the sale. All right, so now we're up here. We're taping the top part and then we're almost done. And then one more and then we'll be done. So now you can see this is what the back looks like. The back doesn't have to look clean because again, it's gonna sit on a foam board, but here's our front side. So our front side, you're gonna be able to see the seams. Um, I mean, that's just what it is, but we're gonna put pieces down so you're gonna see less of the seams, right? Because you're gonna see, like, I mean, look how beautiful that green is glittering under, under the lights. Um, so right now, I'm just going to put down all my pieces. Um, last year I did do this guy and I did the same cut, like right at the legs, because it was just too long. There's nothing that we can do about it. But I also had pictures of using regular green cardstock and the seams right here were so annoying. They were really, really obvious. So you do want to splurge on your green glitter cardstock. And I just want to show you really quickly. So um, yeah, you can see it from here. So you see how that's just me pushing it up against each other. You can see from the light, but in person, you're not going to be able to see that seam because it's going to be laying flat. We're going to tape it down and it's going to be really, really pretty. So that's what it looks like now. So you can kind of see it because the light change, but like I said, you won't be able to see it later. And same thing with the sweater. The sweater was just a little long, so we sliced it in the thinnest part right there. And you're not going to notice that there's a slice at his armpit. I promise. <laughs> um... So actually for the sweater, what you want to do is all your pieces here, like this one right here. Oh, this one's a good one because the light doesn't reflect it that poorly. But you see how the seam just kind of goes away? What you want to do is you want to flip it over in the back. We do want to tape this down so that helps it um, remain um, seamless. So I'm just going to rip a piece of tape right here because it's so thin right there to begin with. Oops. Ah, 
I'm having struggling right now. Okay, let's see. Okay, there. So that's that's flimsy because the part that we're taping is so thin. So it's okay. It's just going to go down and we'll be careful when we tape it together. But it's going to go something like that. Perfect. And let's see. His, I know you can't see the top portion, so I'm going to try to do bottom up. And then that way we'll get to the top. And right now, I, I always recommend putting everything together before you tape things down because you always want to have that option of kind of readjusting like this one. That's good to know that we need to readjust there. Um, if you start taping before, you're going to find um, that that's not the best way to do it <laughs> because I've always adjusted things. So... Um, truly, you're not going to want to do that. Okay, we're almost there. Just a few more pieces. Um, and it's hard to see him too as well because he's sideways. Um... But otherwise, I can't get him to fit and you can't see everything. So that's just the way it has to be. All right, we're almost done. He has one more piece there. And I know his hands are so funky. It doesn't even look like real hands. And then he's got a piece up here for his nose. And then we have this little piece over here and then we're done I'm missing a fur piece though give me a second to track down oh it's just right here so it's kind of go, gonna go like that what we want to do is let me see there's a big seam right there. I'm wondering if I can play with this a little bit to get it to be covered, but it doesn't look like it. I would almost recommend doing black glitter cardstock for this guy because his seams, there's nothing to do there's, I mean, they're just kind of running down. I don't think you'll notice them because it is black um, and everything else is so shimmery. But, all right, your green piece, what you want to do is similar to the, to the red sweater. You want to turn it around and we want to tape him down just to um, help minimize the seams wherever we can. So if it's already kind of pushed up against each other, then it will look seamless. And then we have the green, the green glitter, which will help some more. So I know my fingers. All right, so I cut up a small piece right here. Okay, so that's down this thin one is going to be tougher to, to handle, so I'm going to try to get a really thin piece. Let's see if we can get this down. Okay, we may need scissors when we flip this over to get rid of, um, here we go so that we don't see the tape on this side. So there's a little bit of tape showing right here. There, got rid of it. Okay, so now we're gonna be ready to 
tape him down. So this looks good here. So now is the time to make sure that you like where everything is sitting. And I think everything kind of looks good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually, I'm turning on my glue gun because this, some of this will be will be able to withstand the heat of the glue gun because it's glitter cardstock. It's also a darker color. Um, for this piece right here, though, I'm just going to start taking my double-sided tape and I guess I could lift him up. Okay, so let's just tape him down. And I'm going to cut this one really thinly and I want to get a strip down his legs. And this is, like I said, it's definitely going to help us with the seams. So let's get it straight down. And then a couple strips right there for his feet. We're also going to be doing Cindy Lou Who. And then I also, I wanted to do this last year and I didn't have enough time, but um, a nutcracker. So he's going to look great. I, we've already cut all three characters, so it should look really, really good. Okay, so now we can peel off the tape. And if you're ever looking for my supplies, I have a supply list on Amazon. So it's amazon.com slash shop slash the useless crafter. So everything's done by projects. So you'll see uh, kick toppers, off the mat, um, Cricut products in general, things like that. So, all right, so let's move this out of the way. We do need to get him down because he already has tape on. You wanna, whenever you're applying this, to lightly put it down until you know exactly where it's going to be. And then we'll push down to, so like I'm not okay with that there. So now I'm going to push this down. Okay, so do you see the seams now that it's laying flat? You can't even see the seams here. It looks really, really good in person as well. All right, so this is down. Let's scoot it down a little bit so that you can see more. All right, so now let's put this together. Um, and I think my glue gun is hot enough, so I'm just going to pull it back up and apply a little bit here. Oh, it's not enough. It's not going. Okay. Um, I'm going to use my strips then. I'm just going to pull this over. Now I've had some of my characters because I do demos and then I take them with me to Michael's for my in-person class when I used to do them. Um, and so some of these have lasted in my studio for a year now. And this is pretty much the same materials that I use. So I don't like using glue unless I absolutely have to. So um, if you're worried about this not being able to last. The only thing is one time it was during the summer and I was doing um, like a little bit of a photo shoot and the sun was coming down 
and it was making my materials like it looked like it was the paper was literally warping underneath the sun and um, it made the tape like start to act funny so I felt like if I touched if I pulled on something I would I would have been able to pull my project apart so just be careful about the heat most of these projects I feel like were off the mat they're sitting um, inside on a dessert table or like in the shade so I'm not worried about that um, but just be careful it, it is sitting on a foam board but even that was that my, I felt like my, even the glue, the hot glue gun that I was using for the foam board was starting to like melt and act, act up. So see how I didn't have anything here? Now is a good time for you to either use the glue gun or a glue dot and just get it to lay down flat. When it lays down without, um, without any movement is when you really, um, your seams won't show because what will happen is the seam will catch a light and it's because it's bent a little bit and that's when you'll notice the seam. So if you get rid of any chance of that happening, then your project will remain seamless. All right, so I'm gonna do the hands now, the hands and the sweater. So let's look at this. If we do everything but the sweater, then the sweater will have no place to go but where we leave it. So let's do um, this little guy right here and I'm just gonna grab I usually have scraps around I guess I'll use this this is the back of this I mean I like using my glue my tape glue to this side And I will be showing you today um, how to do the, the foam board. So um, if you don't have it right now, uh, we definitely want a white pencil that we'll be using that to trace our outline of the Grinch. And then that way we know where to cut. And that was, I gosh, I should go back and look at my comments. Um, I was using just a regular pencil because that's what I was used to doing. And someone said, you would find, you, you'll have a better time using a white pencil, duh. <laughs> and because I cut inside of the outline, that pencil marking is not gonna show. So it was the best idea ever and it was so easy and I don't know why I never thought of it. So thank you. I love your comments and your feedback, so. So if you think I don't read it, I do. I read all my comments. <laughs> um, okay, let's see. This goes here. All right, so that's down. Oh, we gotta get this side down. Here we go. Scratch paper. So with my glitter cardstock, I always save my scraps for other pieces for another project because I use glitter cardstock so much um, that there is use for that. But for my scratch paper or scrap paper for regular cardstock, I use it, I save it to apply my glue. All right, so this goes over here. Let's get this down. I do like using these strips though. They've been really, really good. I just need a dispenser for it. So if you know if there's a dispenser, please let me know. I'm sure there, there must be. And I like it because like right there, instead of going straight, I can bend it a little bit and it's easy to use. Here we go. All 
All right, so for the red, I almost feel like I want to, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna put this down over here. And then I think I'm gonna glue the rest of it with my glue gun. So. That way it stays in place. I don't have to worry about it moving. So I'm gonna flip this up and if you notice your, um, the paper, it, it has a little bend to it. So you can bend it a little bit without causing any creases. And I think I'm just gonna tape some glue dots up here to make sure it stays down. I didn't wanna fold it right here because of that crease right here. It's so thin. I, I wanted to just avoid that whole section. So let me just get a little bit of glue here. There, I think that'll be good. Okay, so now it's just his face. So let's make sure that his face is where we want it. And we can do the eyes first is that I'll keep it in place, the eyes and the nose. And so this is where one of my favorite tools comes in. So it's this We Are Memory Keepers um, quick stick. So one side is putty. So it helps me pick up the small pieces like that. So now his nose is there. And then I can just put down a little bit of glue like that. And then I can put this down. And that's one of my favorite applications. It's so easy to use. Okay, um, let's get this piece down. that's down now his face now his face we could just glue down a little bit at a time as well so put some glue there and I'm using my bigger glue gun because Later, when we're doing the foam board, it's easier. Um, but for this, sometimes it's easier to have a thinner, um, a thinner glue gun. All right, so that's almost all down. I'm gonna put a little bit right here. I got glue on the side, so I'm just gonna pick it up to this while it's still hot. Okay. All right, so that's all down. Let's get this hat down. And we're almost done. So this piece is gonna be easier. some glue gun on that one. Okay, so we are almost done. Just the hat and then the foam board. So the hat looks good as is. I'm just gonna get it down here.
he is all down and he looks great. So you see how it bent right there? Then you can see the seams. But when it's laying flat and you have even lighting on it, you're not gonna see the seams there. So that's why it's important to have it on a foam board as well because then it makes it really, it stays stiff and on the board. Okay, so here's my board that we're gonna use. So it's from the Dollar Tree, it's a dollar. It's a 20 by 30 piece of card um, foam board. So it's the best deal ever. Um, all right, so he is too long because he's 33 inches. So I am going to, let's see how we wanna do this. I'm actually going to just cut him like this and then with the excess board, we'll, we'll tape it up at the top. I'm gonna to show you how to do that, okay? So here he is, let's, and I'm not going to cut in between right here. I'm gonna leave it as on the foam board. So my piece is gonna go all the way around here. So take your white pencil, this is the time, and you wanna just trace trace on the outside because we're going to cut inside the line so we're not going to be able to see the white at all okay so Now these two pieces of his armpit, they're open. I'm going to actually not cut out the foam board. I find that it's easier to not do it. So we gotta just make sure that when we glue the piece down to the foam board, that we avoid any glue in these two sections, okay? Just a reminder. It's actually a reminder for myself because I always tend to put glue where I'm not supposed to. <laughs> Fact of life. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna have to take an eraser later because I keep writing on my, my cardstock. So I'm gonna pull this away. And you can see my outline of the Grinch. So now I'm gonna take my X-Acto knife from Cricut and I'm gonna cut on the inside, okay? So just remember that. Um, I'm gonna start here, and I like to do one continuous movement for like the feet, and then I'll pick it up and do the rest of this, and that will give you a really smooth um, and easy cut. So you see I went really inside, right? That's just enough to, um, to make our character stable and that's all we're looking to do sorry I zoomed in so much so that you could see it but then it's I have less room to do to work with um, okay all right You see how I did that one continuous cut and you can see where my lines are I'm gonna cut this one straight over just so that I can remove this piece And I'm cutting it on um, a self-healing mat also from Cricut, which I just, I love using it. Okay, so here we go. So 
so half of him is done. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this piece right here, I'm gonna glue it to up here and we'll have the rest of his um, hat um, supported up here. So I'm gonna use this piece. Um, let's continue cutting this right here. And you can see I'm not I'm not really that careful about um, my cuts here. Um, did I do it? Okay. Just this little piece right here, and then we'll have an outline. So here he is, I'm gonna flip it this way because that's his feet, right? So you can kind of see what he looks like. Now we need to, um, I'm gonna get that little piece. So I want a straight edge because this is a straight edge up here and I'm just gonna um, glue it right here. So I'm gonna make this thinner. We don't need a lot, we just need a little bit to support the hat. So I'm gonna do this. Okay. And let's move it down a little bit so you can kind of see. And I'm gonna add glue on this side. And I'm kind of lifting it a little bit and moving it out to let the glue come down but not all the way so that it's gonna fall down onto my board. Although that's the nice thing about this self gluing mat is that um, the glue, you can just pick it up. So now I'm pushing the two pieces together. I'm gonna let it dry like this and it'll dry pretty quickly, but we can always help it along. And I'm gonna bring the Grinch back and put him on top and I'm gonna show you how to glue him down. But this is basically what we had to do with the princesses because they were 48 inches and 60, 60 inches. So you just put the boards, you know, you kind of build up. You wanna make it really strong. So you don't want, you know, this piece to be super thin. This is enough for the hat. I mean, it's short, so that's why I did it this way. Okay. So that side is good. We're gonna flip it over and we're gonna just add more glue on this side just to make it super, super stable. And if you even wanted to even more to make it stable, you could do something like this. So I'm gonna cut this piece right here. And partially I'm doing this so that my glue won't, won't, um, will dry quickly. So I'm going to maybe put it on this one. Okay, so I put glue here. I'm gonna flip it over. All right, so now we have our piece. I'm gonna bring the Grinch back, okay? So I'll be right back. So you wanna just put him down to make sure that um, if we need to trim anything, now is the time to do it before we glue him down. So I'm kind of seeing, actually that looks good. So he's good here. 
Let's get there. We need to trim the hat a little bit right here. I'll show you what I'm talking about. So you see how the hat, it comes out right here. So I just want to make sure that I trim that off. Um, I am going to use my pencil just to draw it in. Okay, I'm going to lift that up. Okay, so I'm going to move him over a little bit and then trim this off right here. So I'm going to trim a little bit over here because I'm seeing a little bit there. Let's see. Oh no, that's my thing. You can see a little bit here. And I needed a racer because that was my marking. So give me a second. There, that's gone. Let's see. moving it around just to make sure that my pieces are all good but I feel like over here I'm just gonna slice this off a little bit I'm seeing things that I don't want to see <sighs> okay there all right so now I think I'm really good with everything oops I never got this piece down See how does this hand go? All right, so now we're gonna glue him down. What you want to do is you want to start at the bottom. And you want to just glue down the feet. Then I flip him this way because one hand, my right hand, my left hand, I'm going to lift this all the way up and I'm gonna to start to apply the glue over here. And then I'm gonna lay him down little by little. I'm gonna add a glue stick right now, so give me a second. Now remember, we're not gonna wanna put any glue in this open armpit space. So just be careful, because I've done it many times where I'm going so fast. So we wanna just continue to apply the glue. Okay. I'm skipping the whole armpit area, because as long as you have everything else taped or glued down, that armpit area will be fine. Okay, all right, so give me a second. I'm gonna reposition this. Okay, so this little piece right here is sticking out, so I'm going to cut it first. It was our support piece. Okay, so now this is all we have left. So we're just gonna glue all this down And you are, oh, we never glued down his eyes. I forgot. Okay, I'm gonna take out this one. Okay. 
So this I'm going to just do All right, yay, he's down and he's done. So I know you can't see it all. Hit up my Instagram and you're gonna see the pictures of him next to the Christmas tree. So you can see here the light is popping on this. So that's why you can see the seams. But when he's laying flat or against the wall, you won't be able to see it. So that's why it's important. Use glitter cardstock, tape him down, glue him down, and I will see you next time, all right? Let me know what you guys think and what you what else you want to see we have a whole month a month and a half before we can you know have to finish all our christmas decorations all right so thank you see you guys later